that's a big house. Yo, what's up? Not too much here, around. Just pulled up at the scene. Okay, dope. Um, are you at the gate? Yeah, and make your first left at Maplewood. I'm like, I'm like chill to pull on this person, it's like they know what's up? Yeah. Okay. Oh, we're in. Well guys, welcome back. Um, we are going on quite a interesting pond hopping mission. Usually I, I do a lot of urban pond hopping. I like to dabble with some of the Dallas area ponds, some of the creeks in Fort Worth. But today I've had the opportunity to fish a super secret lockdown location on the outskirts of uh, Dallas. And that's where at now. I'm looking up with my buddy Weston, who you've guys seen in many videos. He's the pond plug essentially. He's always got the hookups to the ponds. He hit me up like last week before we went to the Devil's River and he's like, um, yo dude, I got a spot. Let's go hit it. So that's where we're at now. Although I'm not sure if I'm at the right house. This, feel, this feels really strange. I'm not gonna get out yet. <laughs> I'm gonna wait for Weston. Hey, what up? Yo, are you good? Yeah, what do you, what, what you mean? Where you at? I'm here, bro. I, to, I told you to come find the super. Well, that's my bad. No miscommunication. Uh... <laughs> wait, wait, where, where are you at? You've been fishing the whole time? Okay. Okay, hang on. Give me better directions. Hold on. Give me a second. All right. We gotta get out of here. This is not the right house. We literally sat in some random person's driveway for the past 30 minutes waiting on the Weston because I thought that was the house and like I thought he was. Okay, I missed. The... Okay. Where is he? I'm literally so shocked that no one came out and was like, yo, what are you guys doing in my in, in my driveway? Weston, where are you? He said the first, okay. Never mind. We're here, it's all good, we're here. Okay, let's go fishing. <laughs> what in the world? Not the most graceful morning uh, I've ever had starting on a pond mission. Literally, was that was just so weird. Anyway, all right, so we're gonna head into the pond right now. I've got, uh, let's see, four rods. I've got a absolute behemoth of a swim bait, which we're gonna talk about later in today's video, but it is a straight up unit. Then we got a little swim bait, a uh, trench hog, and then a prototype Senko. We're just gonna try to catch some big fish today. Supposedly there's some giants in here. Um, but I want you guys to know that since the, uh, since like the rig, the retro rigged, John B. Hoodie's been selling so well. We're dropping shirts with the same logo in different colors. So check the top of the link in the description and, and scoop some. You guys really like the hoodies and I love them too. So we just decided to make a t-shirt version of them. So same design, nothing to it, just that John B. Fish. Um, if you guys want to pick some up, get it. It gives you extra fish catching powers. Hopefully it comes into play today. Let's go to the pond. Wow. Okay, we're trying something a little bit, uh, a little bit ridiculous today. I've got this, this three hundred dollar ginormous trout. This is basically a California bait where big bass eat big trout. But I figured it'd be so off color and offbeat if I chose today to fish this in a little Texas pond. I've never thrown this bait. I actually got it for a video. Um, I never really like. I never really built up the courage or mustered up the balls to just tie it on and whip it out here. So I figured it's basically like bringing a, um, I don't know, like a Prius to track day. It's just, it doesn't make sense. So we're just going to throw this guy around for a little bit, see if he can't get bit. I mean, it is, it's a piece of work. This thing's got to weigh like over four ounces. Like, <laughs> it's a musky bait. It is so heavy. It swims really nicely though. Friggin' deadly wobble. I get hit on this, I'll lose my mind. A lot of good wood out there. Feels awesome. Yeah. Well, it, that just means they should be hanging tight to this, this structure. It should be a little more predictable. Yeah, late April is kind of that weird time where you like you said they're they're 50 50 almost 
especially in the ponds where it's like a little bit warmer. Oh yeah, that's good. Should have gotten clapped. Spot number one was a bust. Damn, I had high hopes for this. Had to go through maximum security just to wet a line in this little zone. But I think this rain has really, really messed things up. Like you could tell where the water was high. It was probably up like four feet. So we're gonna try another pond. Um, his name's Sam, right? Sam. Yeah. Sam, who's the other guy who's buddies with Weston, is gonna take us to yet another one of his honey holes. We just gotta find places that didn't get flooded that bad. This, I think, got hit pretty hard. The water was dirty, looked nasty. There may be some 10 pounders in there, but it's just, it's just wasn't happening. So, on to spot number two. We used to fish a little pond that looked very similar to that when I was a kid. Okay, spot number two. Very, very tiny pond. This looks really cool. It reminds me of a, of a spot I used to fish as a kid. Like a really tiny ditch. I think I filmed like one video there. Um, we're about to check it out. This is Sam's Juicy Zone. This looks dope. What's shaking? Catch him. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, man. Dude, looks freaking dope. That was quick. That was super quick. Oh my gosh. First cast on the swim bait. <laughs> Let's go. Dude, they look so sick in here. They usually look that pale? That's that fish is like white. Little Jimmy was hungry. He just ate that swim bait. Wow, that was my that was my first cast. This spot's pretty good, Sam. <laughs> nice little largey. First shot of the day. I'm digging it. <laughs> Can you believe that? That is so crazy. Check out this. Check out the swim bait I'm using. This is wild. This is a big, uh, I think it's like a six or maybe a five inch paddle tail swim bait. Super soft plastic. They've got like a big seven aught weighted hook. And uh, when they bite down on it, boom, hookage. That was really cool. I've not thrown this bait that much this year, but. Um, I want to try it out some of these smaller ponds. Sometimes if you throw something big in a small body water, you just naturally draw out the big ones. That was not the case. That was <laughs> that was just a feisty little one. That was dope. Fish number two. I was getting a little worried. I thought maybe I had that uh, first cast cursed, but I just broke it with another little guy. This guy ate the uh, trench hog. I've not thrown this bait that much this year. I really neglected it. But today I've made a mission to throw this in the swim bait. I'm trying new stuff essentially. New ponds, new baits. Nice one. He's all good. Fun fact for you guys. What I'm standing on right now is, I believe, a beaver mound or beaver hut. And uh, they make for pretty good docks. I know it looks kind of janky and ranky, but these things will actually withstand the weight of like a full grown like grizzly or black bear, something like that. They're, uh, they're sturdy. Cue the part where I fall right through it. <laughs> oh, there we go. Good one. Oh, nice one. Nice one, nice one, nice one. Come here. Got him. Yes. Fish number three. That's a much better one. I literally climbed a tree so I could catch this fish on the trench hog. Hell yeah. Look at how he ate that. The trench hog's a pretty meaty bait. It's a, it's a nice size meal. I would call it the main course. But wow, dude, he really wanted that. Biggest fish of the day. Probably just shy of two pounds. Nice one. Let's get some more. They're definitely hanging by the wood. That seems to be the pattern. Back in the water she goes. I will see you later, bud. I'm pretty sure this is poison ivy. The good thing is I'm not allergic to it, but I'm standing in a bed of weeds, poison ivy. We got a tree right here. I'm fully committed to get a bite. This is what I do for you guys, you know? I got a fire ant biting my pinky toe right now. Oh God, that hurts. And uh, I'm just trying to get a nibble. This is what pond fishing is all about. If, you, if you're not the type to get dirty and you know mess up your nice wranglers, then pond fishing probably isn't for you. Anyway, let's talk about rigging. This is what I'm using. I've been using this rig essentially all year. I've caught a lot of big fish this year, specifically on the Texas rig. This is a, I believe a one fourth ounce tungsten weight. It's pegged, and pegged basically means that you have a little rubber stop right there that keeps the weight from sliding around, okay? For those of you guys, this is basic stuff. For others, this may be the first time you're ever hearing about this. So if you're interested, then stick with it. Okay, so you got the peg, the little rubber peg, the weight, and then the hook. This is a heavy hammer hook by uh, Ketchco, I believe. 
I don't know. But anyway, I'll leave it linked in the description below. It is the perfect hook for throwing on the uh, trench hog. It's the only hook that I pretty much use. It's a heavy wire um, cross between like a worm hook and an EWG. I personally don't love EWGs and I personally don't really love worm hooks. So this is the best of both worlds. So it's a four aught, perfect for all of that uh, body that you have to rig up. And just slide it down and there you have it, the hog rig. I'm using this on a 7.2 favorite Big Sexy with some 20 pound fluorocarbon because we are fishing the junk. A lot of these trees are in the water because of what the beaver's been doing. So that's kind of what's happening here. Just doing a little pitching, a little flipping, and a little catching. Is this where they're at? Little, yeah. Probably just. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Weston, there's a hole right here. In case you're wondering. <laughs> that's a shin breaker right there. That's not even a knee breaker, that's a shin breaker. That was fun. Holy sh Yo, come here quick. What the hell? Did you see this? No freaking way. Yes. I like saw, so I thought they were twigs. They're little catfish. Yes. Okay. So a little quick time out from bass fishing. I kept seeing like this little creek that's adjacent to the pond we're fishing right now. And I look over in the creek and I'm like, that kind of looks like something swimming. Look, this guy needs some help. Let's fix you. They're little channel catfish. This is so sick. Have you ever seen, like, look at, there's like a bunch of them. <laughs> look at this guy here, I'll pick one up. So this right here is a little juvenile channel catfish. And the reason I'm holding them like this is because he has very sharp spines. When they're this young, their spines, uh, their pectoral and dorsal spines are the sharpest. I used to stock when I was at school. Uh, in college, I used to stock little blue channels, and uh, I've gotten stung many, many times picking these little guys up. We're gonna release him back in his little creek where he belongs. That's crazy. I've never seen like that. Like, maybe, like if you see one, that's kind of cool, but when you see like a whole slew of them, that's just the craziest thing ever. Look, here comes another one. That's so cool. I thought I saw a flathead. But dude, they were in this fast current fighting it until we came over. Here, let's save these guys. Okay, I'm gonna put him back down in the creek so he doesn't feed him to Gary. <laughs> Gary would love him. So we're gonna put him back in the deep water. There he goes. Saved a life today with a piece of styrofoam. He likes you. He does like me. I'm gonna pet him. Oh, look, I'm petting him. Here he goes. Okay. These are the last of our, our little dudes. We got a little sunfish, a crawdad, and a catfish. We're gonna put them in the deep water. There they go. That was so cool. At least these guys have a better chance of surviving in this deeper water opposed to being in like inches of water. They look like trout, man. I've never seen catfish swim that hard. All right, I'm gonna snap back into it. Let's go catch some more fish. I think we're leaving this pond and going to spot number three. So Sam has taken us to his third spot. He said, we pulled up, I was like, how the hell did you find this? Google Maps. Google Maps is every angler's friend, especially the anglers that primarily go on foot missions. I love this, this is so sick. It's a legit pond in the middle of the field. Let's go see what's, what's happening. Yeah. Okay. So we've caught fish at every single spot except spot number one, which is funny because that's the one that had the most hype behind it. We thought we were gonna like crank them good, but these other spots have been pretty productive. Nice little Jimbo. <laughs> I've actually caught this guy on a prototype. Doubled up. There's a nice one. Got that one. It's kind of hidden in the grass, which is a good thing. This is a prototype stick bait by Guggen Bait. So I'm just trying it out today. This guy liked it. <laughs> and there he goes. Stick bait bass. Wow, look how clear that water is. Right back under the reeds. Boom. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that was a good one, dude. That's your fault. Hey guys, in case you're wondering, that was Weston's fault. Damn, that was a big one. Like, no joke, I felt her. 
That was a, another good one. <laughs> so I went full Peric mode. That was like straight reflexes. I don't know what I just did there. <laughs> ah! That one was not Weston's fault. That was my fault. Okay. How? Let's, let's examine this really quickly. Oh, well, we can't examine it much because he took my, my stick bait. The good news is, is the bass like the Guggen stick bait. Bad news is I can't hook them. Are you blurring this? I mean, Don't even show it. I'm not showing. Oh God, no, put it back. <laughs> I will tell you the color I'm throwing right now. This is one of my favorite colors of all time. It's called cinnamon in the new Guggen stick bait. Cinnamon, remember that. It's one of my favorite colors. It's one of the colors that I requested to be added to the lineup. I've caught more big largemouth bass and smallmouth bass on this color than any other color, including green pumpkin, black and blue, cinnamon. Three syllables. Remember that. All right, let's see if we can get another fish. This is actually crazy. I'm getting some good bites right now, but I just cannot follow through. Oh, 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 here we go, here we go. Yeah. That one's on. That's a good one. Dude, that is a good fish. Redemption. Redemption. Yes. Okay, he's not that good, but he's a fish. <laughs> no, they didn't see any of that. <laughs> Thank God they didn't see any of that. Okay, so maybe those fish weren't as big as I thought they were, but they're fish. I'm getting bites. It's three bites in a row. Three casts, three bites. Finally got them. I kind of understand why I'm missing these guys now. If I hold it like this, does it look giant? Closer? No, that looks perfect. Oh, it's got 10 pounder. What you have to do is you have to hold them like that. You kind of have to like flex their mouths a bit. Oh, wow. Dinosaur. And then he's actually this big. All right. Thanks. Thanks, little stinky. Appreciate you for playing. That's two fish now. I would say it's pretty good. Went to our last pond. Just over there. Is it like, where is that? Just like right over there? Or? That one, yeah. Really? Oh wow, looks sick. Oh wow. That's a good one. Barely even moved it. Barely even moved it. Pretty good one. All right, I'll take that. It's definitely the, probably the biggest one of the day right there. Check it. We just bounced over a pond adjacent to that really super clear one. And that, I think, I believe, is the biggest fish of the day. Am I recording my chest? You looked at me like, oh, we're good? Yes, you are. Oh, we're good. And back she goes, gonna release from the flooded field. That is trippy. Success. Oh, here, I'll take your rod. Thanks. Hey, Alex, a little bit of fishing that didn't catch one, but we'll catch one eventually. The dangle was a success. Thanks to Sam and Weston for inviting us out here. It's always fun to like team up with people in pond hop. Pond hopping's good, but it's even better when you join forces and you pick up parts of ponds. We fished, I think, a total of one, two, three, four, four. Four ponds today. Caught a decent amount of fish. It was freaking sick. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Um, if you want to check out Sam's Insta, I'll leave it down there. He's a cool dude. Does a lot of fishing. Posts a lot of cool fishing pictures. Uh, but we are peace and out, signing out. Again, do not forget the Rig John B. Fish shirts, t-shirts, not the sweatshirts, sweatshirts and t-shirts are live on the website. So you know what to do. Click that link. It's right down there and uh, scoop some. If you guys catch some fish with the apparel, be sure to post it on Instagram, um, on YouTube, like post a video or something like that. I want to see what you guys are catching with the lucky gear, but that is it. We are peace and out signing out. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. As always, folks, keep fishing. Never stop.